Hello and welcome to this week's Quick Tip Tuesday, all about Twitter and Twitter lists. Let's get started. Today I want to cover Twitter and how to get a little bit more organized with your Twitter feeds using lists. Now you may have had a personal Twitter account before starting a business Twitter account. Of course, what I talk about can apply to either. But as I quickly found out when I started Twitter that I did not want one account for everything. I separated my business and personal accounts, which helps me keep more on task and organized. This was great for keeping my feed separate between what I wanted to see in my personal life versus business. And originally, I only followed a few things, a few businesses, and so it was easy for me to go through and read every single tweet that came up on my feed. But as you are probably aware, you soon begin to follow and have many followers and the feed just becomes overwhelming. You may have then gone and started uh, using the notifications button, which is also a nice feature, but eventually you're getting so many notifications that it sounds like you are standing under a tin roof in a rainstorm. So now we come to lists. This is a great way for you to separate out the tweets that are most important to you from specific people you are following. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You're on your home page and these feeds just get very overwhelming. So you can do what's called starting a list. If you click on your profile picture or icon up at the top right, and then click on what's called list, you can then create a list. As it says here on the right side, create a new list. Now I've deleted all my lists so that it, this is what you're going to see when you're just starting out. And here you're saying it also says I'm not following any list, but yet if I click here, it shows I'm a member of all these lists. And what's happening here is that these Twitter accounts have created public lists and they've added my Twitter account to those lists for different reasons to follow, such as when I tweet about podcasts or entrepreneurs and things of that sort. Let's create our own list. We're going to create a new list and I'm going to name it business women. There are certain women in business that I like to follow. I'm not going to describe it because I'm not going to make it public. I don't want anyone to follow it. I'm just going to use this for myself. The choice is yours, but I'm making it private. Now I have this list, but I don't have anyone in it. I can go back to my Twitter feed and under the people that I'm following, people or companies, I can then click on this little gear and then I can add or remove them from a list. Now here in this gear, in case you're not aware, is also where you can do other things, including turn on a mobile notification. Now again, every time they post a tweet, your mobile device is going to make a ping noise. And if you've got a lot of these, it's gonna sound like you're standing under a tin roof on a rainstorm, trust me on this. That's why I started using lists. I, the list I created was for business women. So I'd like to add Peggy Free. So here it says add or remove from list. And I'm going to add her to the business women list. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to create a new list unless that person is going to become a new list. And that's it. Let me go back and show you where it's at. Here up at the top now, it says list. And I have one list. And in it, you're going to see one person, one member. Click on it. And then it shows me all of her tweets. Now for everyone in your list, it, in that list, it's going to show all those tweets. 
again, this is great because you can separate it out. So if you're looking at the podcast you're following and you just want to see the tweets of those podcasts, that it's going to have just those. If you are looking for a certain industry, that you're following certain people within an industry, again, it'll be just those tweets. And again, you can make it as public or private. And then if it is public, people can subscribe to your list. And you can also subscribe to other people's lists. Let me show you that as well. Again, we're back under the Lists tab. And I clicked on that. And it shows me the list that I've created. And it also there's a tab for also there's a tab for member of. These are the lists that I've been added to, but I can also be a sub subscribe to them. If I click on the top one, then here it says how many people are members and how many people are subscribers. 50 people watch this feed. Now I can click on subscribe. And I'm a subscriber too. Go back into my home. And now it shows I have two lists because I have the list I created, business women, and the little lock means it's private, and then hashtag podcast. When I click on that, it's going to give me the feed of all those people that have been added to that list. So I hope you found this video useful on how to create your own lists or subscribe to other lists within Twitter in order to narrow down who you would like to see the tweets of rather than trying desperately to read every tweet in your massive feed once you start following several people. If you have any suggestions for upcoming tips for me to cover, please leave a comment below this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you catch all upcoming tips and other videos. You can also find me here, of course, on Twitter, also Facebook. And if you're looking for transcription services, definitely check out my website, bombtranscriptionservices.com. Thanks for watching and see you next week.